This is our rack, rack one. Uh, today's service call is high suction alarm. Uh, when I just got here, basically what I found is this compressor was tripped on a core sense. And um, basically we had one flash. Insufficient oil pressure. So uh, let's just check out our site last. All right, so I'm checking my oil pump for compressor number three. And as you can see, we have no oil at all. Let's just check compressor two. Uh, compressor two was running. It didn't trip out. But as you can see, we have no oil. Here, compressor one, look at that. Just full of oil. So, got some oil issues here. And uh, basically we're running a high suction pressure due to that compressor being tripped off on oil. Uh, let's just check out our oil reservoir. Uh, zero balls of oil. Also, let's check our sight glass. So that's the next thing you like. I like to check. Um, Normally you should see bubbles in this side glass. Also, if you touch this line, this line should be hot. And um, right now it's not hot, so it kind of tells me that our oil separator down there, the float at the bottom, is not open. Um, basically, I'm gonna check my oil, oil reservoir. Also, I'm gonna check my net oil pressure at my oil pump. All right, so let's just check our E2 right fast. Our rack suction set point is five degrees, and right now we're running at 11, so we have a high suction alarm. It's not too high where it's triggering an event like it has high suction, but it is starving my cases. My cases is not coming down. I got two cases here that's an alarm. All right, so this is compressor three. This is the compressor that was tripped on oil. Um, I'm hooked up here right to my oil pump. And basically we're gonna check our net oil pressure. So our suction pressure minus our net oil pressure. Uh, what are we seeing? 12 PSI, 12 PSI. So we have no differential. Uh, so we got basically zero net oil. We need to be at least 45 to 50 uh, PSI differential across there. Uh, so right now we have no difference at all. All right, so right here in front of me right here, this is our oil reservoir, and basically we got a check valve on here, and uh, the little check valve has a stamp right there. As you can look a little bit closer right there, that says OCV 30. So we should be 30 pounds higher than the suction pressure. So yeah, we should be 30 pounds higher than the suction pressure here at our oil reservoir. And um, right now, let's see what we're reading. 12 and 12, so 12 PSI, 12 PSI, that is no difference at all. So right now, we need to um, go ahead and um, back flush this oil separator. But um, let me just check the differential, let's see if we got anything across it. Um, normally, um, if you see zero, uh, your filter is probably blown out or your O-ring is missing. Uh, you wanna be in between like three and five PSI difference. All right, so this is our oil separator right here. And basically, I'm just checking my differential across it. I got my gauge hooked up here at the, at the discharge transducer. That is reading the discharge pressure, also temperatures. And then I have my other one hooked up on the opposite side of the separator. As you can see, just follow that pipe and comes right back. And we're right here at the first compressor. So let's just see if we got any differential. All right, so I just opened my valve back there. And um, as you can see, we're reading 179, 179. Um, there is no differential across our separator right there. Um, that is a Westermeyer separator. Um, so let's go ahead and um, back flush this separator. See if we can get this line here to start feeding. Basically, you will see bubbles going through here once it starts feeding. So let's go ahead and uh, back flush our separator right there. Right compressor number one. Got my other blue holes hooked up here at the top of the oil reservoir. And uh, before I get into doing this, um, we're gonna shut all those two compressors off, this one and that one, and just go ahead and kill the power. Control voltage, we kill the power. Let's kill the power here. So, just kill the power to these two compressors here. They are no longer running. When you when you back flush door compressor, you only need one compressor running. And um, basically what we're gonna do now is, um, 
we're gonna close our pilot line right here. We're gonna valve this off. Just go ahead and valve this pilot line off. Also, let me valve the bottom down. We're gonna valve this, valve this down. This goes out to our oil pot. Basically, we just shutting off the flow to our oil pots. And um, basically, this is gonna allow us to build up pressure inside this vessel so we can force force it back down to here and it's gonna basically lift up that flow. All right, so I got the bottom closed. I closed my pilot line. Also, I'm gonna make sure my gauge is all tight, make sure it's tight so I don't get oil everywhere. And um, I just go ahead and crack this in some. All right, so I got make sure my yellow hose is tight. If I don't, I will get Freon coming out of that. So basically, I'm gonna open up this side here. I'm gonna open up this side. And uh, we're gonna raise up our pressure. All right, and turn on our light. So let's turn off our light. So let's go ahead and just raise up our pressure. Also, if you want, you can just keep this one closed. You can do it that way, either way. And just bring your pressure up. Right now, we're at about 170. Gonna open this back up. All right, so as you can see, our head pressure is starting to rise. We're at 177. So now it's moving pretty good. Slowly, I move this. We keep increasing. I showed you guys how to do it a different way on one of my other videos with, with keeping this closed um, and then open it. You can do that also just as long as you kill off all these co other compressors and uh, open this up. Watch your hair pressure. You just want to raise this up a little bit over 250 psi. And um, you're gonna use that pressure to force its way through here, down through there, down there, and it's gonna go up into that float. And uh, it's gonna move the dirt and move the debris around, and uh, it's gonna allow oil to feed. When I came here, this line here was cool. Also, it had oil in it. If you look at it now, that oil is um, being pushed back into the oil float. And uh, it's making that rise. So once we open this up, this line is going to get real hot. Also, you're going to see bubbles coming through here. Uh, like I say, we might not even have to go as high as 250 hair pressure. So we had 262. You see our hair pressure went up tremendously. We almost up 100 PSI. And like I told you, this line here is hot now. So I believe that's good enough. Let's just go ahead and... Uh, back this up all right so this is all all the way open now so what we're gonna do is we're gonna turn our compressors back on Just kick our compressors on turn this one on look at that spaghetti boy all right so got that on now we're gonna go ahead and open up this, open up our oil reservoir, open up our pilot line, equalizing line. Let's open that up. Let's open this So as you can see, this side glass is now moving liquid. I mean, moving oil. So that's what we wanted. It wasn't feeding when I got here. So um, just back flush it. Now we're feeding oil. And just watch our oil pots and just see what happens. So look at that. Look at that oil pot. 
oil level starting to rise. Look at that, my battery went dead on my phone, sorry, but as you can see, that thing is starting to fill up with oil. This one right here, somebody may have this one adjusted too high. I'm gonna let the rack run a little bit and I'll go from there, I'll monitor it. But uh, as you can see, look at that oil level. So, that's pretty much how you back flush your oil separator. We're gonna check our oil reservoir and we're gonna see what is our OCV. Uh, 11 over 27. So now we have some differential. Uh, we don't have the full 30 pounds higher, but we have more differential than we did. So now we're gonna feed some oil. All right, so remember this side glass here was full. What I did was I used this oil pump to transfer some of that oil into here so we can back feed it back through the pots. And uh, just to get our levels up here, So we're looking pretty good and uh, like I said I'm going to be back tomorrow to change that separator but uh, this will also tell me if I need to check my floats or adjust them see how they're looking right now so we'll see how they look in the morning I'm going to get this part number and I'm going to go to the supply house get that filter and I'll be back in the morning to replace it 